and it's a, it's a pressure game. Your World Cup, last get pool game of the World Cup. Um, it's England's to lose. Scotland go in having to win by eight points. You know, I think the, the, the England are strong favourites. Scotland have got a big big task ahead of them, uh, and England will be slightly concerned. That, you know, they they are a bit of a banana skin. The last three or four games Scotland have played, you know, you could say they deserve to win all of them, and they certainly won one of them and drawn one. And you look at the way that Scotland have played against England in the last two or three performances, and you could say, play rugby-wise, they could have deserved to win the game. The fact is, they didn't. Um, and England will take confidence for that. We, we need to be clever at the, uh, as a back division. I think um, one thing, you, when, you, when you watch a lot of games, as we've been watching during the World Cup, the decision-making of the best teams are they very rarely make bad decisions. You know, when there's a two and one, they give it. You know, and we've been sort of trying to beat them and then losing the ball and turning over. Just little things going the wrong way. So we, we need to be at the top of our game, you know. It's, and, and this is what you, you, you go to World Cups for. You look at Scotland, they don't score many tries. So the way that they keep this in the, in the game is by penalties. So more than ever, is there's a case for not giving unnecessary penalties away. So, you know, if, if, if they fall short of the referee in, in that space, if they try and force the game too much, um, then, then I think it could be a niggly game, and it, you know, Scotland could be right in it right to the end. You know, I always tend to back my own team, but I just I think it's going to be really hard for them to to beat England by eight points. And I think they can beat England. There's no question about that. But I think having that gap of eight points, I just don't think England would ever let that happen. If it's England are clinical uh, and patient, both in attack and defence, I think hope, I think and hope that they'll win well.